What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, you doing my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff, baby. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me to grow. And to the Boss Nation, thank y'all so much, man. So much coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys. I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby. Y'all I got. And our fam, welcome to today's video, baby. Welcome to today's video. SEC Week 5 Game Predictions. In which, fam, y'all already know, I love doing SEC Game Predictions because I am an SEC guy. So, guys, I'm not for the hold y'all up. Let's just get started, man. All right. So, number 12, Ole Miss, comes to number 1, Alabama. Yes, fam. They want the champs, so they come to our house. In which, guys, Ole Miss have been on a freaking rampage this year. They have beat the crap out of Tulane. They beat the crap out of Louisville. They beat the crap out of Austin P. And they're going to try to beat the crap out of us. In which, fam, I do not see that happening one bit. One bit, guys. Okay? Now, yes, Ole Miss, they have been able to do that to those teams. They were dropping, um, no, no, rushing three, dropping back eight. So, if you can do that, guys, on, on anybody and get success, you're going to win. And you're going to win convincingly like they have been doing. But out of those three teams, guys, none of those teams combined compared to Alabama. Okay? We are the number one team in the nation. We are the number one team in the nation every year, seems like, in which we are. Fam, and then you come to our house, our house with that crap, bro. I guarantee, I want you, I hope and pray, Old Miss rushes three and drop back eight and see what happens. See what the tide do to y'all, man. I can't wait, fam. I cannot wait. Over on is like 14. I mean, over on is um, 80, 80, 80 um, and a half points, fam. 80 and a half. Guys, okay, let's just address this. So, in other words, man, these people are thinking that our defense is just going to just give up like they did last year, you know, just can't stop them and whatnot. You really think that's going to happen last year out of the game we just had with Florida in which our defense had got exposed. Bro, we worked on this, okay? We just took care of Southern Miss, and our fans were loud as crap with Southern Miss. How the hell you think they're going to be with Ole Miss? You feel me? The real Mississippi State, I mean, the real Mississippi team. So yes, guys, this this is not gonna that's this is not gonna be anything nice for Ole Miss, but this freaking eight and a half points, man. We it, it might be us scoring a lot of points, but Ole Miss, bro. They okay, you know what? Let me be realistic here. Let me be realistic because they are a good team, okay? So if our defense does give up a couple touchdowns, do not panic, fam. Do not panic because you gotta realize we are playing a good team, you know. And Lane Kiffin knows us. He has a blueprint on our team especially on our offense. He ha he knows us in and out, guys. He helped build us. Plus, our defense. He knows how we work. He he knows us, fam. So, he's going to, they're going to score, okay? I'm going to even just stop being unrealistic. They are going to score some points, but not as many that they did last year, okay? It's not going to look like they did last year. And I just got a feeling, bro, that our defense is much improved. We, we don't want to have the game we had against Florida. We don't want no freaking nail biter, okay? We're going to come in, we're going to take care of business, and the rest is going to be history, and the champs are still going to be the freaking champs. Okay, guys? Point blank period in the story. Next game. Um, number eight, Arkansas goes to number two, Georgia, which, yes, I just did a video on Arkansas and Georgia, too, bro. These these two games right here, man, our game and Arkansas game, bro, these are the primary games of, of our league this week. Like, for real, man. This is this is this game right here, though, bro, guys. Four day and a half over on them. Um, Georgia's favored by 18 and a half points. 11 o'clock game. Um, fam, this is going to be war. This is going to be war, man. This is going to be war. It's going to be war. This is going to be hell, man. Like, Georgia is looking really ferocious, and so are the Hogs on defense. Like I said, bro, I bet I gave the Hogs that name, D of H. I gave that the name for a reason and whatnot because of what they showed me, how gritty they are, how determined they are, how physical they are, how mean they are, Okay. Now, Georgia, they are ferocious. They are mean. They are getting after your butts, too. So, this is what I'm saying, guys. This could be a very low-scoring game, depending on the circumstance. If the Hawks can put pressure on Georgia, on JT Daniels, then, man, they got a chance of winning. Because pressure bust pipes. I don't care how good your quarterback are, how good your team is. If you put pressure on him, eventually, guys, he will fold. And the whole offense at, at, at that will fold. Because... If the quarterback cannot operate, then, bro, you have no shot, okay? You have no shot. 
because you got to have a quarterback operating. Then you got to have a run game. You got you need that balance. But if you if one of those is upset and you got to rely on the other just to try to win, nine times out of ten you're not going to do it unless you playing a mediocre team. But this is not no mediocre team. The Halls are not mediocre. The Georgia is not mediocre. These are two juggernauts, bro. Two juggernauts of the SEC going head to head, baby. Head to head comeback, guys. More to comeback. You know this is this is gonna be war, baby. This is gonna be war. Now, fam, I did pick Georgia to win this game just because of the talent they have. But guys, like I said in that video, man, if the Halls pull this game out, cause nobody gave a lot of people didn't get the Halls a shot of being Texas. Everybody was like, oh man, it's the same old Halls ain't gonna win against Texas. They beat the hell out of Texas from beginning to end. Uh, Texas A&M, come on, bro. It's the same old Hawks. They're not going to win against Texas A&M. They beat Texas A&M. So, fam, look, this is Georgia. Now people say, now look, bro, look, this is Georgia, okay? This number two team in the nation. Georgia is for real. They got all these five-star tatters like Alabama. Now, no way the Hawks beat Georgia. Now, if the Hawks beat Georgia, what does that say, bro? What does this mean? This would mean, guys, that we know nothing. We know nothing about the Hawks, bro. That's what that's what that would mean. I mean, you could say like, "Well, man, look." I mean, you you anybody can see like Georgia should win this game. And I'm like, yes, they should. I mean, they got a whole lot more talent, you know, and everything they got. Georgia's got a load of talent, bro. But you gotta realize the Hawks got a lot of experience on their team. A lot of experience. They done went through the ups and downs. Two years ago, they didn't win the game. Now they're number eight ranked in the nation. That's that alone is just ridiculous. So, fam, if the Hogs win this game, man, guys, I this 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 is this would be I, I can't even explain what this would be. The whole college football world would be shaking. They would be shaking in their boots. For real, bro. Even I would be nervous. Because if this happens, if this happens, guys, this this <sighs> This, this will, this will, this, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say, guys. Like, this would be beyond history. This would be, if you can go beyond that. Like, this would be beyond that, fam. This would be crazy. But anyway, guys, look, I, I, I got the, oh, I got Jordan with it. But like I say, if the Hawks win this game, I'm not even, I won't be surprised. I will not be surprised. All right, next on the list, we got Tennessee and Missouri. It was found none of these teams are ranked. Open on is 65, and um, Missouri's favored by three points. It's at Missouri's house, 11 o'clock game. Guys, I don't know, man. Both of these teams have been struggling lately, man. Offense and defense. Like, I just don't know what to say about Tennessee or freaking Missouri. But with that being said, guys, this that's why they only favor by three. Because this, this could go either way. My pick would be... Guys, I really don't know, fam. I really don't know, man. This is so hard because it's just hard, guys. I, I just really don't know. But I'm going to make a pick. I'm going to say Tennessee. I'm going to, no, I'm going to, I'm going to say Tennessee. Point blank, end of, the, end, of the, end of the discussion. Tennessee, guys. All right. Next on the list, we got Troy and South Carolina. All right, fam. So this is more like a Troy, South Carolina, SEC. But South Carolina only failed by three points. Open on the 40s. Old on the 43. 11 o'clock game. So, fam, um, hmm. I don't know either. I don't know about this. But Troy, man, Troy has been some good, you know, some have beaten some good teams um in the past. Hell, they just beat LSU a couple of years ago. So what if Troy comes to South Carolina and beats them? You feel me? Like guys, this is kind of hard. This is kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of hard, man. But um, mm, I want to go with South Carolina because they are SEC, but they do have a new coach, man, and new schemes, new system, new everything. And uh, fam, I'm going with South Carolina. I'm going with South Carolina. I do not think Troy's gonna come in and beat South Carolina in their house. In their house, the game costs house. No. I don't I don't see it coming in their house and beating them this year. South Carolina, SCC all the way. All right. Next on the list, fam, we got number 10, Florida. I'm um, going to Kentucky. Over and on is 55. Florida's favored by eight and a half points. Five o'clock game. So pretty much nighttime, fam. Okay. So, fam, we all know how Florida is. Florida is really a second half team. 
They they are just I don't know, man. I don't know what it is about Florida in the second half. But Florida's a really good team. Emory Jones, in which we recruited, man, he is really coming on good. You know, he's throwing the ball better. He can definitely run. Like these quarter, these dual threads, if they can't do anything else, they can run. They can run the freaking ball. So Emory Jones, he's looking good. Their receivers role is looking good. Their run game is looking good for Florida. But Kentucky, on the other hand, they looking pretty good too, man. You know, they um they beat Missouri. It's pretty close. It's pretty close, but they did beat Missouri. But fam, I just don't think Kentucky has what it takes to beat Florida, man. We barely beat Florida. You know, so you mean to tell me Kentucky just going to come in and just, you know, beat Florida like this? I, I don't see it. Florida's going to win this game. As far as this point spread, Florida's going to cover that too. Matter of fact, I can see Florida beat Kentucky by at least two, three touchdowns. That's my that's my um that's my pick, guys. Florida. SEC all the way. Next on the list, Mississippi State. Ooh, Mississippi State. Going to number 15, Texas AM. Open on is 46 points, fam. Texas AM's favored by seven. Uh six o'clock. Now this is nighttime. Six o'clock game. Guys, Mississippi State, bro, has been struggling once again. They have not been the team that a lot of people thought they probably would be, in which I never thought they would. But, guys, going to Texas A&M, which Texas A&M just had a heartbreaking loss against the Hogs, I'm pretty sure, man, they're going to want to like, make a statement on Mississippi State. I mean, on yeah, on Mississippi State. They're going to do all they can do, especially with it being in their house. The 12th man, everybody rocking and whatnot, making you seasick. You know, guys, Miss, Texas A&M is going to destroy Mississippi State. I'm surprised they only failed by seven points. I know their quarterback is out, so they playing with this new guy, this new quarterback and whatnot. I don't, I don't understand that. But still, fam, Texas A&M is going to beat Mississippi State. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be about more than seven points. All right, SEC all the way. Next on the, next on the list, Connecticut and Vandy. Bro, this is the lowest of the low. This is the lowest of the low right here. 54 and a half points over all the guys. Vandy is actually favored by two touchdowns and a point. Uh, 6.30 p.m. game. Guys, I still don't know who to pick in this one. And Connecticut sucks. But Vanderbilt does, too. So, I, I'm I'm really confused, guys, on who to pick in this game right here, man. I mean, yes, I want to pick Vanny just because they SEC, man. I mean, they get the, that's that's like off tops. If you're SEC, more than likely, I'm going to pick you. But doggone it, bro. Vanny, y'all have just been looking horrible this year, man. Like, y'all came and beat peanut butter and jelly this year. I don't understand. Y'all can't even make a proper peanut butter and jelly sandwich to save y'all freaking lives this year. And I'm sorry if I got an event fans fan watching me. I'm just calling like it is. I'm not lying. I'm just calling like it is, bro. Y'all have been just destroyed, just sucking seriously bad. But anyway, I guess Connecticut, though, man. Y'all should beat Connecticut, man. Y'all should beat Connecticut. Anybody should beat Connecticut. And for 14 and a half points, why they got to have the freaking points so high? Why can't they just say seven? Why can't you just give them a touchdown? Hell, even a field goal, man. For 14 and a half, it's like you say, okay, if you do two touchdowns, you got to be about an extra point, too. So I'm like, bro, I don't know. Y'all probably putting too much pressure on Vanderbilt. They already struggling, you know. But Vanderbilt's going to win. But as far as this point spread, I don't know. I would not bet this game whatsoever. The over or the on the order points. Do not bet this game, fam. But Vanderbilt's going to win SEC all the way. All right, next on the list, number 22, Auburn, going against LSU. In which, fam, open on is 56 points. Auburn, I mean, LSU's favored by three and a half, eight o'clock game. All right, guys, so this is the last game of ISCC predictions. So Auburn's still ranked. they still ranked in the top 25, you know, in which last year, last week against what it was. Was that Georgia State? In which Georgia State was actually leading at halftime. I don't know how the hell they're still ranked in the top 25, but somehow, somehow, fam, Auburn is still ranked in the top 25. So anyway, they go to LSU, and uh, LSU's favored by four points. I can understand, I can see that because they're going to get up for LSU. They did not get up for last week, but they're going to get up for LSU. But it is, it's in LSU's house, and I know how those fans are down there, man. They are crazy. They're going to be probably drunk, you know, spilling beer on each other and shouting all kinds of stuff out and causing chaos so with that being said man you got lsu then you got the fans you know lsu's gonna win i think lsu's gonna win this game it's gonna be hard though i don't know about no freaking these, these four points 
You know, I really don't, man, because I don't know which Auburn team is going to show up. Like, you know, that Auburn against Penn State, that was a good game, bro. That was a good game, which I really think Penn State is a good team. But LSU, on the other hand, they are they are turning out to be pretty good. They're getting better and better every week. But um, in their house, I don't see them losing their house. Not against Auburn, I don't. So with that being said, I got to go with LSU, baby. But as far as this point spread, I'm not sure about that. But LSU will win this game. All right, fam. But anyway, man, guys, I love you, man. Y'all know who I do this for. I love everything I do. As far as all these the videos I do for y'all and whatnot, man, and just the love and support y'all show towards me, guys, I really appreciate it, man. I really do. Y'all are my passion. Y'all are my love. Y'all are my heartbeat. Anyway, fam, with that being said, I love college football. You love college football. We love college football. And again, with that being said, much love. Much love, guys. And uh, stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you. I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.